Well, welcome to my Let's Play for Doggy Days. I was originally going to do Vegeta Jr. for um, RPG Maker 95, then figured, well, it's a bit iffy to do a game made on a program that was illegally translated. <laughs> and I really don't like to have, have deal with moral quandaries sometimes. I might still do it at some point, or at the very least I'll review it, considering I already did the first game, so I might as well get to it at some point, right? Then I can always take the video down for Goku Jr. Nah, you can just stay. Once there's a dog and his owner, Alicia, they are happy in their humble little home in Jado. However, one day Alicia was kidnapped, presumably. Now it's your duty to rescue her and also find something to eat, because it's been like five days and all there is is yucky dog food. There needs to be a comma there or something. Name the pooch you play as. We will be Lobo, because I am lame and do not like to come up with creative names for my characters. And while I have two dogs in the house, well, I guess technically my brothers want to beg to have them. Both of them are girls, and only one of them has a name that would fit, and she's black. So, head to the princess's castle, huh? Um. I don't know why there's an encounter rate stat, considering all the enemies appear to be fixed on screen from what I experienced before, because I tried casual for a bit. But I think we'll go with hard, because I can still get experience, but what, there's gold decrease? Hmm. Could do normal, I guess. Eh, yeah, go hard. Grabbed a potion. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can do in the house. Um, can't take the swords because I don't have thumbs. I'm not going to be able to do much if I got to stop and grind, actually. It's going to be weird. Um, oh, a puppy. How cute. Play the piano. <sighs> Better than alcoholic freeloader. Whoa, where did that come from? I don't think there's anything else you can do in the house. You can look in the mirror and get told that you're a really, really dirty pooch, but... Let's see... The door can talk, huh? Full of old jeans? Why? Can't do anything at the end, so let's go to the item shop. Huh? Out, 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 out! You nasty dog! I've never seen this key before! <laughs> No, I don't know why I made him French. Ow, what in? Guess she's not here. Darn. Um. To be honest, I'm going to go with attack boost for now. Because quite frankly, I have all the boosts you can get. It's probably going to be the most useful immediately. Attack boosts usually are, right? We can't go east, but we can get a bad joke out of the way. Need to head west, not yeast or er, east. Now we can head to the forest. I'm probably I'm gonna turn off the game. Well, I'm not gonna turn off the game. I'm gonna just stop my let's play. Here, from well, I guess I should say pause and grind off screen. Because quite frankly, watching me grind is gonna require me to go hit the enemy, maybe one enemy time, then head back to town, heal, then come back to fight again and back and forth. So yeah, I'm gonna call stop here, recording wise, and grind out for a while. Well, I'm back now. I'm just saying about 35 minutes grinding or so. We're gonna try and work our way around to get to the ring nose without actually fighting any of these things because quite frankly they take up too much time and hurt you too much ha a dog jeez I expected a hero to fight or something not some bone brain regardless I can't let anybody buy get ready to die mama, mama always said I could rhyme underestimating me eh ring nose how'd you know my name um, can we just fight now? Oh, right, sure. 
Ring Nose emerged, huh? It's a pretty lame name, actually. Um, don't bother using quadruple attack, to be honest. Well, even if you had the power, I don't, but... And don't use Chomp, it doesn't work right. Got it. 30 experience, 50 dom. Um, we got the Minotaur ring. C -c Curse it all! I held back too much! I will be back! Yeah, I know, I'm not consistently speaking for him, is it? Con consistently speaking for a voice for him. Yeah, we got a slime ring. Um, We're going to put this... Mentoring and physical skills. Because it ups attack power and it allows us to um do a low cost axe cleave attack that can really hurt stuff. We're gonna want it. And glad I'd be out of that crummy forest. Now to go see the princess. I sense something. Something fishy. Almost like a cat. Yeek! A dog! Maybe if I'm really quiet, I can sneak by. Yeah, I know. Forget this. Huh? Maybe I'm just hungry. Well, we'll see. Uh-oh. Whoa, a cat. Maybe I should talk to it. Oh, what to do? I'm so dead. Only one choice. Well, hi, Mr. Cat. I'm... Attack! I don't think it's possible to kill this thing, to be honest. You just have to survive for a couple of rounds. Now, that ain't hard, considering it doesn't hurt you if you've leveled up enough, so... Kitty! Kitty, where are you? Oh, dear. Tactical retreat time. And first Minotaur, and now a cat. What an odd day this has been. I agree. What a small castle. What a big castle you have. Not really. There's only three rooms in this castle. You got this room, this court garden, and um, the princess's chamber. I can't believe this is the only only the princess's castle. No wonder why it's so secluded. Not like a dog cares about castles. She's got a point. I don't care. How rude, kitty. Well, hi. Huh? Is she talking to me? Weird. Why is it weird? It's my gift. I can understand animals. Prove it. What's my favorite food color? Understand, not read minds. Oh. Anyway, what do you need? Sauce is not killing me. Who said I would? Well, I think my owner, Alicia, has been kidnapped. You know, Alicia Aura? Um, I'll consult my crystal ball on this. Wait here. Give me one second. Dinner lights and everything, huh? If you weren't a princess, you could be a fortune teller. Hello. Hi. I haven't properly introduced myself. My name is... Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. P R I D E. Pride. I'm sorry. Kitty Pride. Yeah, I know. Reference to X Men and to Lions, because Lions truly exist in Prides. Mm, I thought you were definitely afraid of me. What changed? You said you'd kill me, so you can't be that bad. Good point. Kinda. Not really. All done. I know exactly where your owner is. Really? Awesome. Where? It's not good news. She's trapped in the sealed island. Er, where? It's a long story, so make yourself comfortable. Pride, you too. 
for a long story, it's only going to take a couple dialogue exchanges, I think. Now that I'm assuming you both know of the evil Malazar. No clue. Wasn't he the one guy that tried to kill a bunch of people? Why? For the fun of it, mostly. So he was, um, chaotic evil, I guess. That's just sad. Anyway, a brave hero came and stealed him away with the help of the people on these islands. However, magic is really weird, and always has to have a way to undo it. What silly magic. Quiet! The hero took the precaution of sealing the islands off from the outside. He did this with three shrines. What does this have to do with my owner? Yes, I was getting to just getting to that. I think Alicia is a descendant of that same hero. It could be possible that she accidentally released a part of the seal. By undoing one of those key left seals, it probably released some of Malazar's power. That explains the increase in monster activity. So, where is my owner then? If I had to guess the sealed island, then how will we ever be able to see her again? Hold your pantaloons, I've got an idea. Oh, well, suddenly you went to the three seals and undid them. That would allow someone to get there from the outside. Wow, what a good idea. For a cat, you're pretty smart. How is that a good idea? You'd be unsealing the island, which keeps where the demon... Well, not demon. Malazar is held. That's a bad idea. You're solving one problem only to give yourself another problem. That had better have been a compliment. But, it'd be extremely dangerous. Is she worth risking your own life? For her, anything is worth it. Very well. There's no point in stopping somebody determined. Touch the crystal ball over there and it'll teleport you to Judo Inn. Once there, head east to the dock of Tarek. Tarek? You should be able to get to a boat there. I, I better go right now, then. Well, bye. Hold it! Being so harassed these past few minutes, I deserve to know how this all ends. So, you'll help? Well, why not? I'm not very useful lounging about here. But let's be clear, no mauling. Done. So brash. Well, you'll need these. Iron key and a turtle ring. Good luck. So this will take us back to the inn. So I don't have to back to the forest. I see. That was anticlimactic. Got a point there. Yeah, I'll stay long enough to rest up. I guess that will head east. There's that yeast in this game. Yeah, I know we're saving again, but quite frankly, we will want to. Let's see. Let's try and fight the ghost. I'm the ghost of Mountains Pass. Oh, even curse too. Anything over here? Um, let's see, no. What's this? Anything in the mailbox? Some fan letters, I guess. So, who lives here? Hello. Want to buy this completely non ripoff fashion swap teleporter? It comes with three fashion accessories. Seems fair enough, I guess. Guess not.
I don't think there are any hats or anything in this game, so we have stuff for codes and stuff that may not exist. Oh, I guess we could save and try the hat thing. It'll take bunny ears. Well, that tail's not very impressive. Oh, it's probably more fitting that it wears glasses like me. No, it's Clark Kent. Well, I can change that anytime, huh? Oh, I don't know where she goes. Can I use it any time I want? Yep. As far as we haven't slipped yet, don't jinx us! Got a point there. Wait, let's use a potion on Kitty here. Um, let them move forward. Blah! Ha, ha, ha. I am Ben McScores. Hi. Anyway, I'm here to stop you two widows from getting to Fiery Mountain. Fiery Mountain? Don't play dumb. You know that's where the first seal of to the sealed island is. Actually, we had no clue. We were just going to hop on a boat and wander aimlessly. Oh, well, this is awkward. But you'll never reach it. Prepare to lose, fools. <coughs> Olive Garden. I don't have any MP recovery, so I hope that lasts long enough. I need to get some, like, better potions. Got it. Okay, 40 experience, 200 doms. Skull ring found, boat pass found. Pride's now level 3. Curse it all! You'll pay for this! You see a skeleton jump off a cliff? I think you did. No, let's head back to town first. I want to heal up and um buy some more potions. 
Because I don't know if the next area will let me do that or not. When in doubt, backtrack. That's slightly the defense. Yeah, I think I'll give the skull ring over to him, the cat. Mostly because K Pry here has pretty low offense. I'll head all the way back to where I was before. Um, getting better at killing stuff. Okay, that's done. Um, well, hi there. Do you want thousand? All I have to need is a boat pass. Ha! Sure, I'll show it you then. I'm Lobo. Why? Thank you. Wait, I didn't mean. Too late. What the? We need to get that back. Sort of serves you right. I gotta steal my boat pass from a chicken. Oh, hi, pup. You're the first visitor I've seen, oh, a few months. This place is a ghost town. My guess is the mother monster problem is preventing travelers, if any, from reaching here. Should probably go find the chicken, that chicken first. And here. Boy, that dog was dumb. Now to, for him to clear out. Oh, poop. What's the big idea of stealing my boat pass? You know how viable these things are? I could live on it for life. Stealing is still wrong, feather face. Yeah, Burger King. Now then, the boat pass. Fine, take it. Thank you very much. I guess it's a fake. Say that there's a secret path to the Slime Queen somewhere within the Sealed Island. Boy, you're very quiet today, Alfred. So there's a secret pass. Uh, I'm going to assume this is going to be a fake. Hey, it's you. What do you want? Trying to steal our boat pass again? I I want to make it up to you guys, so can I help? Er, I don't know. What do you think? Hmm. I think we should take him along. Sure, he steals him. Looks kind of shady, but he may want to make it up to us. If he keeps his feathers to himself. Everything will be a lo okay. But whatever. Wow, oh, that sounded like a joke Mom would make. <laughs> okay, you can come along. What's your name anyway? Aim for a chicken. Mmm. Oh, rooster. <coughs> hmm. Nah, I don't think I can use that name. Um. That's probably too long. Yeah, it is. Um, I can't think of any like famous chicken characters right now. Outside of cow and chicken. Oh, 
There's Chicken Little, but I don't know his name. There was that one movie where they're gonna turn the chickens into pies. They didn't make enough eggs. Um, Chicken Run, I think. Uh, I can't remember the rooster's name. Um. I got it. He's a thief, so we'll call him... Sticky for Sticky Fingers. Sticky, you won't regret this. I'm betting we will. Let's get moving. Sticky Fingers joined the party. Onwards! A dog, a cat, and a chicken, all trying to save one person. Seems likely. No, it don't. These things are probably still a pain in my butt. A fire slime! Let's see. Let's go with the um, attack. Attack, attack, attack. Um, 39 damage. Crap, that hurts hard. A harpy. Let's save before we engage this thing. Um. Heals basic wind damage to an enemy. Um. Heals five times level to a random enemy. Oh, it uses RP. Because there's two gauges here, the SP and RP gauge, so... I think it'd be very useful. I'm going to assume Kitty got nothing. I probably should stop here and grind anyway. I just need to stock up on some better potions. I guess we should check the item shop real quick. Maybe they got some better stuff in there. Yeah, let's head back to town. Not much of a town, though. No. Same as the last one. Hmm. Well, we're going to stop here and do some more level grinding. Till next time, we try to take Fire Mountain for real.